Heavy days are super important when it comes to a strength and conditioning program. So let's first of all talk about why. So why are we doing heavy days? Well, yeah, man, exactly, right? But here's the deal with strength. Here's the one thing to understand with strength. We can build strength adaptations a number of different ways. More specifically, when it comes to building a strength adaptation through a heavy day, we're trying to build that top end strength and power. That's what we're trying to get out of this heavy day. Right? And we have this goal in CrossFit, a strength and conditioning program, where we have this goal of increasing work capacity across broad time and mobile domains, right? So we have to increase that strength adaptation. That's a major part there. If you look at any one of those fitness models, where it's 10 general physical skills, the hopper, right, the metabolic pathways, or the sickness wellness fitness continuum, strength is going to help us in any one of those models. Strength is a major part of any one of those models. We have to develop that top end strength. Okay? All right, so let's talk about what? What is a heavy day? What do we, what, what do we use for heavy days? What do we go heavy in? What type of movements? Yeah, yeah. This is kind of like a trick question and an obvious question. We go heavy in functional movements, right? Uh, when it comes to heavy days, they are functional movements. Okay. Reps. How many reps do we tend to do when it comes to a heavy day? Yeah, they're low reps. Each set is going to be somewhere between one to five reps. What about total volume? What's the total volume we're looking for in a heavy day? And we're looking somewhere between like seven and 25 total reps of working sets. Okay, so total volume, seven to 25 reps of working sets. What that means by working sets is this volume is gonna start at about 80 to 85% of your max. That's when a working set starts. So what does that mean? Everything up to 80 to 85% is really considered what? It's warm up, it's skill development. What I want you guys to understand is we, when we talk about we want you guys to put in a heavy day every three days, every four days. I want a heavy day, man. I want you to PR. I don't want you to think, hey, I have to do Fran after this, so I'm just going to kind of cruise through this 15 minutes, touch something heavy, count it as my heavy day, and then try to hit Fran and probably not PR on that, right? I want you to think today's goal, today's goal is I'm going to squat as much as possible. Today's goal, the goal is I'm going to get at least five pounds more than the back squat I had last time. I'm going to work up to 85%. I'm going to get to that fifth set when I want to try to get in my PR. I'm going to crank up the music. I'm going to stare at the bar. I'm going to jump around a little bit and freak out a little bit, get underneath the bar and really try to get a new PR. That's a heavy day, okay? On the other end of the spectrum, what about metabolic conditioning day? So we always have a metabolic conditioning day that follows up something like this. Do you think it's easy to really dig in in, in PR Fran after you just did a whole bunch of back squats that were relatively heavy? Some people can do it, but do you think it'd be a lot easier to PR Fran if you came in and here's what's on the table, man. We're going to warm you up, right? Once again, cranking up the music and you're going to do three, two, one, and you're going to attack Fran everything you had. Does that make sense to you guys? Cool. All right. Who needs to go heavy when it comes to heavy days? Oh, that's a trick question, right? Everybody needs to go heavy. Do we have to understand relative intensity though, right? So yeah, everybody needs to go heavy, but what heavy is really depends on the person. And going heavy with Travis is, dude, we're gonna try to hit like 470 next time in back squat. And going heavy with my grandmother is, let's take this 15 pound barbell and really work technique. Either way, they're getting the true benefit of the heavy dip. I just have to understand relative intensity when it comes to prescribing loads for all the athletes within my gym. But everybody needs to go heavy relative to where they are. That make sense?